Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Alter Bridge Universe, where I'm reviewing every full-length record featuring one or more members of Alter Bridge. Today, I'll be reviewing the album Second Skin by the Mayfield Four, so let's get to it. Second Skin is the Mayfield Four's second and final album, and it claims the achievement of being the first 2000s record in this series. Leading up to the album, the band fired guitarist Craig Johnson, but ironically, kept their name despite only having three members, leaving Miles as the sole guitarist. Just like like in his previous group, Citizen Swing, the Mayfield Four started out with an experimental fusion of genres in their first record and then narrowed down to hard rock as the primary genre of their second. Second Skin is high octane, intense hard rock, sometimes even bordering on punk. As much as I enjoyed their previous album, it didn't align with my preferences, so I couldn't see myself seeking it out, but that is not the case with this record. Second Skin is right up my alley and a testament to this group's ability to innovate while remaining musical and entertaining. It's focused and consistent, and at no point I was taken aback or significantly confused by anything I heard. There were a couple of minor moments that I found odd, like Miles deciding to heavily manipulate his tone and pronunciation on select words during Believe, and while I didn't love that decision, it was wasn't a big enough deal to distract from the overall performance. If anything, that particular moment is probably my least favorite on this record, but it's made up for by the bonkers guitar solo at the end of the song. It's been a while since I've heard Miles properly shred on his early albums, so this was a great surprise and a smart way to transition into the album's closing track, Summer Girl, another song that's worth discussing. Many bands will place a big power ballad at the end of their album to serve as a dramatic, emotional conclusion, but it's rare that the song actually accomplishes this. More often than not, the song feels out of place compared to the rest of the album, or it doesn't hit the right beats to trigger a genuine emotional connection. Summer Girl, though, did not have either of these problems. The cacophony of sound at the end of Believe is enough to make your ears ring, so you're not expecting Miles' tender vocals, solo guitar, and bass string. However, once it starts, you realize that's exactly what you need after such a bombastic track. He invites you in to share an intimate story story, like he's directly serenading you. Finally, when the band comes in, you're filled with this sense of calmness, and Miles' ridiculous belt at the end brings everything to a great conclusion. In case you couldn't tell, I really like this song. When I was writing this video, I considered naming some other tracks that stuck out to me, but honestly, I think the two that we just talked about encapsulate a lot of what is great about this album. Second Skin has great pacing, energy, and variety, all traits that play a significant role into how I perceive and judge a record. A few of the tracks like Lila, Backslide, and Flatley's Crutch are even likely to make my drumming playlist, which is big praise since I tend to play the same songs over and over rather than mix things up with new music I'm unfamiliar with. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. How am I going to score this album? Of the records I've reviewed so far, it's definitely been my favorite, but knowing some of the music that's yet to come, I have to be somewhat conservative with my points. I had a few tiny gripes with certain songs, but none of them are significant enough to really deserve any screen time. There's also a couple of aspects that I'm torn on, like Miles' intense rasp in Sick and Wrong and Loose Cannon. It's kind of cool, but at the same time, he sounds burdened, constrained, and unnatural. This is something that I may just have to get used to, but there's also the chance that it may bother me the more I listen to it and then ruin the song for me. With all of these comments in mind, I'm giving Second Skin by The Mayfield Four an 8.2 out of 10. What's your favorite song from Second Skin? Let me know down in the comments. Tomorrow's video marks the end of the first part of this series, as Creed's third album, Weathered, is the final record before the conception of Alter Bridge. If you've missed any episodes in this series, I put them in a playlist here for you to get caught up on, since you won't want to miss anything. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.